welcome or welcome back to my channel everybody today's video is going to be a review of concrete rose the third book that i have by angie thomas now i know that in my review of untouchable i said that that was going to be my last video in this room but then i went and read this book in two days and I don't leave until tomorrow and I have plenty of time to film this video so I'm gonna film it. The angle is kind of wonky because I already packed up my uh, my phone stand and so I'm just propping my phone up any way I can and this was the best this was the best way that I could do that so the angle is kind of weird but I can't really fix it right now and I just I want to get this filmed so let's get right into what I thought about the plot. I give the book five out of five stars for the plot. There was a lot of baby time, which I love babies, so that made me happy. Plus, this book was all about Big Mav from The Hate You Give, and he was my favorite in that book. So when I found out that Concrete Rose was about him, I had to get it, but I wasn't currently buying books and I wasn't gonna buy it new. And so I was super, super excited when my college sent me all three of Angie Thomas's books. They sent those in a welcome package because I'm part of the writing program and Angie Thomas actually graduated from the college that I'm going to. So they sent the, these three books out to people in the writing program and I was so, so excited. They're also all signed. So I have three signed copies now, which is really awesome. Anyway, yeah, I got super excited to read this one and I really, really loved it. It was fun being reunited with the characters that I knew from the other books, except now they are all 15 or so years younger, which is amazing. It was so cool getting to know them because these are the characters that you don't really get to know in the first two books because the first two books are about their kids. So now you're getting to know the parents and getting to know them better. So it was kind of like a family reunion, but with everybody younger instead of older. Yeah, that was really awesome. Really great to get to see them. A lot of the babies and kids in this book are the main characters or the main characters friends from the original books or from not the original books but from the hate you give and on the come up so yeah just really cool to get to see them i didn't immediately recognize everybody but i could kind of put the pieces together and it was cool to be like oh yeah that's that kid's mom and that's their dad and whatever like just getting to know these people better that i've heard about in the other books but now just getting to know their story so five out of five for the plot really really enjoyed it i hope to i plan to someday reread all three books in succession so that I can really pick up on all of the things, especially in Concrete Rows, that are just kind of like glanced over in the first two books, because you get to know like so much more backstory in this book. Five out of five for the characters as well. Again, it's everybody that you've met before basically, but younger. You also get to meet some characters that couldn't be in the other two books, just because of how things played out. So that was cool. It was really interesting to see the different relationships and see how different relationships were built or how different ones got torn apart because you know what the relationships are gonna be like in 15 years, but now you get to see how they came to that point. So again, the backstory was awesome. Also, again, it's all about Big Mav when he's a young man and it was I really loved getting to know him better and I love him even more now. He was my favorite character in The Hate You Give, but now I got to see the different choices that he made and why he made those choices or why he did or didn't do certain things and that was really super cool. I give the writing four out of five stars. It's written in first person present again and it's done very well. There's not nearly as much swearing in this one, which I was very glad about. Nothing about the writing really bothered me most of the time. Um, I read it in two days, it didn't really get thrown off by anything. It is written in a different style of speech, I guess. Uh, so that was a bit of a shock first going into it because I had forgotten about that in the other books. It's just written differently. And honestly, after spending two days basically only reading this book, doing like almost nothing else, it's a little bit hard for me to go back to writing and speaking the way that I speak, because it is different. It is just kind of a different, this is what you would call dialect in uh, in writing. Like the te technical term, I'm pretty sure, is dialect. Yeah, it's just interesting because it is totally different from what I'm used to. And 
it only takes, you know, like a page to get used to. I got right back into it. I was like, oh yeah, this is how the other books are written. And I really find that interesting how, you know, we're one country, but different areas of the country speak totally differently or have different accents or just different words for things. And it's the same in other countries too, I know, but just very interesting to me because I've lived in one place basically my whole life. I did live a little bit more south for a while, but I was really little. And then I did spend a year and a half in Virginia, but it's just different. People speak very differently in upstate New York and that's what I'm used to. So that was very interesting. But again, four to five stars for the writing. But anyway, uh, I'll stop rambling about that. I think I've made my point. Actually, I don't even know what my point was, but I think I've just, I've said what I meant to. Oh, another thing that I wanted to say about the writing is that I really love how the opening few paragraphs were repeated at the climax of the book. They were repeated a little bit differently, but it was the main idea and it just kind of takes you back to like that very beginning and, and it's an important part of the story and it was a really cool connection. I like that a lot. I love the title for this book. I didn't really know how it was going to tie in or fit the story, but it really is a beautiful connection. Though the full title is never mentioned in the book, there are little hints throughout it and it just, it's beautiful. I loved it. Great title for the book and great references to it throughout the book. As for the content guide, I already mentioned that there is some swearing and it's pretty bad swearing, but it's not very often. Definitely not as often as in The Hate You Give. That was like a major shock going into that book because I didn't expect any swearing. Yeah, that was a huge shock. So there wasn't nearly as much in this book, but there is still some swearing. There's also some drug use and some other mature content relating to sex. Pretty adult for a young adult book, but I'm not surprised anymore. Young adult is not what I thought it was and probably not what it used to be. But uh, yeah, so that's the content guide. It's definitely on the upper side of young adult as the other two books were. So we've come to my takeaway thoughts and I loved this book. I really did. I am so, so glad that I got to read it and I will definitely read it again someday. The characters are even more like friends now. I guess they weren't really friends before. Like, like I said, I loved Big Mav, but I didn't really know anybody else very well. And like I've said throughout this video, it was really cool getting to meet them all and getting to know about them when they were younger and learning what made them who they are in the first two books. This is probably my favorite out of all three books, and it's not just because of all of the baby time, though I did love that as well. Man, and it's just beautiful as well. I love the cover. I love the cover for the covers for all three. I can wholeheartedly recommend this book to contemporary lovers, though it's not some sweet, innocent, fluffy contemporary. It's definitely a little bit harder and more, um, I guess exciting. Like yeah, it's, it's not some fluffy contemporary. And it definitely is better having read the first two because like I said, you just get to know the characters better. But it would be a very good book anyway. It's not part of a series where you have to read the first ones in order to understand this book. It just makes it a lot more enjoyable if you have read uh, The Hate You Give and On The Come Up. And those are my thoughts about Concrete Rose. I'm glad that I got to read it in these last two days before I go to college. Uh, it's one more thing that I don't have to bring with me to college, but I also really enjoyed it and I wanted to read all three books before going to the college that Angie Thomas graduated from. So a very enjoyable read. And now this is for sure the last video that I'm going to be filming in this room. I leave tomorrow morning, probably very, very early. So yeah, this will be it. I have a couple other plans for the day and then I'll be going off to college and it's really crazy. I wanted to mention this in the last video. So it's actually good that I'm filming this one or in my untouchable review. I don't know if that'll be the last video or not. After this, I'm expecting that a lot of the videos you see will be pre-recorded from like months and months and months ago. I still have to edit and publish the individual Percy Jackson book reviews. So yeah, some of those are pretty old. Like I said, just playing it by ear, seeing what happens. So that's it for now. <laughs> if you like the video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you can give it a thumbs down, but please let me know why in the comments and how I can improve in future videos. If you haven't already, please subscribe. That would be awesome. If you have already subscribed, thank you so much. Thank you very much. 
and don't forget to like and share the video. And that's it. So I hope you have a blessed day, everyone. And I hope you have a great week and a great time going back to school or starting new things or whatever you're, whatever's going on for you. Um, I wish you all the best. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Have a blessed day, everyone. I still have to do the individual Percy Jackson review books.